against Felipe Pena, the fight against Felipe Pena in the ACC will be my, my last one and I want to finish great, you know, with greatness. Felipe is he's really tough, he has great scrambles. He went to the finals two times in his weight division and actually he has like three ADCC finals. So that gave him a lot of experience and he went to trials in Brazil too. So it shows that he has a lot of experience in the ADCC rules. He's a great fighter. We fought, you know, before as well. He won a couple times, I won a couple times, and I know that he's preparing himself really hard for that. He's doing his best to win, and I'll do my best to win, you know, and the one that deserves more will win, you know, so I will prepare myself like I always prepare. Maybe harder, because I know he's younger than me. The things that he has in his favor is the youth, you know, he's young. He's on his prime, you know. And I have the experience in this side. So I have like a lot of experience as a fighter. I know he's one more guy that wants to get there and take that spot, you know. And uh, winning the fight will, will be amazing, you know. Conquering one more dream you know, in my life. So I don't care like about the money. I don't care about title, you know. Like I, I, I really care about showing everyone that it is possible to, to overcome your challenge and, and become a great fighter. My mindset is just like I said, I wanna show everyone that everything is possible. You can achieve like your goals if you believe and you can uh, overcome yourself, you know, and you can do great things. It's just a matter of hard work, discipline, and positivity, like understanding that when you work hard, when you have discipline, you're gonna, you're gonna reap great fruits, you know, and that's what I wanna do right now. And also, you know, when I, when I compete and you know, when I, when I fight and when I travel, I try to share my beliefs as well. And I think this is important for us. It's not about religion, it's about showing people that God really want to have a relationship with us. That's, that's what, I, what I like to preach. ADCC, uh, it's, it's a really special event since the beginning, right? Sheikh Tahanoumi Zayed had a great idea, right? And I think he did everything really wise, you know? The prize money is the same since the beginning. Since the beginning, never changed. Hopefully they, they change. <laughs> Imagine if you say, oh, right now, if you win the Super Fight, I'll make $100,000. It would be great. Everything else, like it really evolves like you know like the technique the training the way people like uh the rule the rule like is always the same but the way people sees the rule you know it always stay the same but people start like realizing like how important it is like the ADCC you know but also i think the media help a lot you know the the, the social media helps i think if back in the day we had a social media already Maybe ADCC would be like in a different dimension, you know? But I think it's like little by little. But now with YouTube, Instagram, and then all the, the, the filming that they're doing, like flow grappling, all these things, like I think it really helps like to spread our, our art and the event. And because it's only two years, it become like a World Cup, like the soccer World Cup. And then this is the Jiu-Jitsu World Cup, the Grappling World Cup. You know, that was the intention when, the, when Sheik Tano did ACC. So I think the, the media really helped. <laughs> like I
like I say, until ADCC 2011, like people don't notice much the wrestling. So now like people are like training more wrestling, like they know that's part of the game. So I think like when when someone show, show up and then they do something like that impresses people, they like, oh man, I want to do like what this guy's doing, you know? So like with the heel hooks and all these things, like people like look like at uh, uh, Gordon's fight and like, man, like I want to do like what this guy is doing, you know? Because, you know, but maybe like we had that before. Heel hooks, like we, we, if you watch the first ADCC, there was heel hooks. So I think it's like a cycle and, you know, so it's, it's evolving. It's always evolving. Jiu-Jitsu, it's really young. If you think about surf, skateboard, which is like a radical sports, and I think Jiu-Jitsu will be there one day. They all start in the 70s, you know, 70s. Like, man, look like it's a lot. You know, it's like almost 50 years of the sport and look at the prize money. The athletes, they, the skateboarders, they make like a lot of money, like good money. You know, you, you think about guys like Tony Hawk and all these guys, right? And I think Jiu-Jitsu will be there one day. The thing is, we start in the 90s. Jiu-Jitsu is in the 90s. The first world's was in 1996. The first ADCC, I think, was 1998 or 1999, something in 1998, I think. It's brand new. It's really new. You know, it's a it's a 20 year old uh, event. So I think in in, a, in in 10 years we go to the next level, and I think it's, it's gonna be amazing, man. And hopefully, Shiktanu can uh, or even the 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 media or all the sponsors you know in the event can help the price the price like increase